triangle, right? The law says exterior angle is same as, well, we are, we are not in cyclic quadrilaterals, please. This is triangles. Exterior angle equ equals to sum of the interior opposite angles, sum of those two. We did this in part one, right? When you add those two, you are supposed to get this one. So that's an n plus n, which is a 2n, right? So that should be a 2, 2n, right? Now, concept is very simple. Exterior angle of a triangle is nothing but sum of the interior opposite angles. All right, so you add those two, you should get this angle. So that's how we got 2n there. Now, turn it and go back and see your actual uh, circle rule there. Angle at the center is double the angle at the top there, right? Angle made by the same arc at the center is double the angle made by the same arc on the remaining part. So, do you agree M is a double 2N? M is twice 2N. So, we can say M equals to double. Watch there, it's double 2N. M equals to double 2N is nothing but 4N. If you double 2n, do you get? Do you agree you will get 4n, right? That's how you got to do. So if the top angle is a 2n, the bottom angle should be a 4n here, right? So that's what they they want you to prove here. Prove that m equals to 4n. We got m equals to 4n, right? It's a double of that angle, right? Okay. That triangle story you got to know, right? Exterior angle of any triangle is sum of the uh, interior op op opposite angles. I'll just explain one question for you, right? Now, if you got a triangle like that, right? I got the ang angles there, say 50, 60, 70, right? I got three angles, 50, 60, 70. What is actually happening is if you extend one line this particular angle is called exterior angle to get this angle if you do not know this 70 if you don't know this to find this angle all that you do go inside add those two angles so 50 add 60 that should be a 110 right does it make any sense or not if you need to see look at that hiding angle there that's a 110 add 70 do you agree you get 180 right so a straight angle is 180 therefore this this makes sense if at all a line is extended that way that exterior angle if you need to find go inside add those two angles 50 add 70 that should have been 120 right so that's the concept we actually applied in this in this case here, watch, that's the tri triangle there. I'll take you a little bit back. Yeah, watch there now, please. That's the triangle. This line is extended, the green, green one. To find the outside angle here, we went inside, we added those two. So this concept really helps you to solve many, many sums in the geometry of circles, right? So, uh, we finished this question now. Similar type, type of sums you do have, some other, right? Uh, before that, we move to page 5. It's a lovely question, page 5. Please watch page number 5, please. It's a beautiful question based on a semicircle. It's not full, right? It's a semicircle. Center is give, given to you, O, all right? It's on page 5, please, right? They told me in this question that AOB is diameter. So what's that? That AOB straight line is nothing but the diameter. What happened to the remaining part of the circle? We, we don't have to know. Not necessary. Now you move to the next part that they asked you, uh, that they uh, gave you in this question. OD is parallel to BC. Right. Go and, go and check. You see those arrow marks. OD is parallel to BC. Parallel lines never meet. They can never meet. 
distance between them always remain the same, right? So that also is given to you. And the third point, most important, they gave you angle MBO. Now it's a three letter notation, right? It's a three letter notation. Always you need to know, sometimes in the examination, they do use three letters. Angle ABC means you start at A, travel to B, you travel to C. The angle forms at B. At the center letter, the angle forms, right? Three letter notations are important for the uh, examination, right? So it's angle MBO means you start at M, travel to B, travel to O. The angle forms at B. That's 30, right? Let's look at MBO. MBO, please, right? Be careful there. I'll take you close to that. Please watch. MBO. M B O, right? That's 30. That they gave me as 30. That in, in the question itself, they gave you angle MBO as a 30, please. Right? MBO. Done? Happy. Now, don't look at what they asked you to find, please. The 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 main thing you need to know in solving <clears throat> circle geometry. Do not attempt to find what they asked you to find. Look at the question, study very carefully, look at what they gave you first, do not look at what they asked you to find. Just go and fill in the blanks first, fill in all the unknown things that you, that you can, then you go back and then check what they wanted you to find. Trust me, you have already found by that time, okay? But if you look at the question first, find angle A means, if you look at that and go and try to find A, you will panic, okay? So, I, I'm, I'm not looking at all those now, right? We'll just go to this part here and fill all the uh, angles that we can, okay? So it's on the screen now. Let's